Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In this short video, we're going to take a quick look at the source cache status that has been a long time request from Flame artists. The purpose of caching source media was to create a transcoded copy of the media in the Flame Manage Media folder. This helps to enhance certain performances in Flame using optimized media. Now, in previous versions of Flame Premium, you could already cache source media. However, the caching status wasn't very clear. As soon as you told the application to cache a source media, the status of the clip would be set to cached. This was regardless whether the media was in the process of caching, cached or even halted for whatever reason. In Flame Premium 2016 Extension 1, the caching status has been revised and smartened up. Let's take a look to see how this works. Now you can ALT click on a clip to see the metadata pop up window. This will tell you if a clip is cached or not by looking at the format icon. However, if you switch to the expanded list view with SHIFT tilde, you will find a cached column that will be more informative. Now, as I mentioned earlier, in previous versions of Flame Premium, the status of the cached column would just switch to cached even if the media was still caching. This led to loads of confusion as to whether the media was uncached, in the process of being cached or actually cached. This has now been changed. In this version of Flame Premium, there are now four states of cached media. The first state is uncached. This means the clip is uncached and nothing is currently happening. Now select a bunch of clips and call up the contextual menu. Under the Media menu, choose to cache source media. The second state is pending. This means that the clip has been submitted to Backburner and is in the queue to be cached by the background services. The third state is caching. This means that this clip is currently in a state of being cached. And the fourth and final state is cached. This is the 100% confirmation that the media has been cached and the frames are there. These states will dynamically update as each clip goes through the caching process. So the caching states will definitely allow you to track caching tasks as well as pinpoint any issues that could occur. And as a final reminder, you can see the caching states in the media panel, conforms event list and the clip metadata pop-up window. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.